Hi, this is Dr. Justin here. Today's talk is on branched chain amino acids. All right, what are branched chain amino acids? Well, they are leucine, isoleucine, and valine, three major amino acids. Uh, and these amino acids are very, very special because they have the ability to go right into the muscle and be burnt for fuel. So just a little recap before we get into it. What is an amino acid? Well, think of a protein as like a pearl necklace. And all of the little individual pearls in that necklace are like amino acids. So our body breaks down protein structures into amino acids, and then amino acids can be absorbed and they can be used for energy, for fuel, as well as repair. So the nice thing about branched chain amino acids, they are special, like I already alluded. They can be broken down and taken up by the muscle for fuel right away, which is awesome because this increases our body's anabolic effects. And all anabolic means is the ability to build things up and repair. So our body is constantly in a seesaw of, of building up and breaking down. So if we can always tilt our body in the favor into building up more than we're breaking down, then we're putting ourselves in an anti-aging state, which is always good. It's always beneficial. So again, amino acids normally go to the liver, and the liver then breaks these amino acids into glucose. Uh, this process is known as gluconeogenesis. The big word, if you break it down, it isn't too scary. Gluco, glucose, neo means new, and then genesis is creating, so creating new glucose. So this is the normal route that amino acids come in, um, and they're broken down for fuel, converted into glucose, and thus we're able to burn that for energy. One of the main things, we really want to stay away from burning protein for fuel because we'd rather have that protein be on our body as nice, lean, toned muscle. It helps us perform well, and it helps us look good too. So the nice thing about branched chain amino acids, they bypass that whole liver pathway step. They go right to our muscles, and they can be used for fuel, and they create awesome muscle building effects. It's one of the coolest biohacks out there. So what some of the research has shown, one study showed that 0.2 grams per kilogram, so roughly about 20 grams-ish, depending on your size, um, per workout is beneficial. This study did it before and after the workout, divided doses. Um, some of the research out there, I listened to Dr. Eric Serrano and Charles Pollock, and they're the biggest experts out there on branched chain amino acids, and they work with lots of athletes at the professional and Olympic level, so they're really doing it for a living. So some of the recommendations are between 0.28 grams per kilogram all the way up to 0.44 grams per kilogram for a male. So 0.28 gram per kilogram for a female to 0.44 grams per kilogram for a male. So looking, ideally if you're looking between about 20 to 40 grams depending on your size. And some of the research, or Charles Pollockin for instance, recommends putting those powders or putting the branch chain amino acids in a powder or pill form and sucking them down during your workout. Some recommend pre and post. I think it makes the most sense to have it right during your workout so your muscles get the ability to suck that right in and take it up and to prevent yourself from breaking down any proteins. Now this is an amazing fact. So if you're already lifting weights, if you're already on a healthy anti-inflammatory diet, eating nutrient-dense foods and avoiding toxins, this is something you can add to your workout. It's simple, not too expensive, and will make a huge difference on how you look, feel, and perform. Again, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani here. I hope you found this information beneficial. Feel free to check out the YouTube page or the website, justinhealth.com, for any more information. Thanks. Have a great day.